Recognize this bald eagle couple? It was the only mating pair left in New Jersey in 1982. Did they just get busy? Nope. A comprehensive restoration effort throughout the state has brought the population back to 119 mating pairs by 2012. However, the road to restoration has not been easy for the bald eagles. Bald eagles are found throughout North America, including New Jersey, where they nest in the tall deciduous and coniferous forests bordering bodies of water or on cliffs. These eagles tend to avoid overdeveloped areas for their nest nesting territory, which illustrates one of the first obstacles to bald eagle survival. Bald eagles are apex predators, which means they lie at the top of the food chain. They feed primarily on fish, but will also eat other birds, reptiles, amphibians, and small mammals. Removal of these bald eagles from an ecosystem can illustrate the effects of a trophic cascade. A trophic cascade means that the removal of one species does not only affect the population of the species that it directly interacts with, but also other species in the ecosystem that are indirectly affected. For example, if the bald eagle disappears, trout populations may increase. As a result, trout prey, such as fish eggs, may become consumed at a more rapid rate, ultimately damaging the populations of the other fish in the ecosystem and destabilizing the food web. Because bald eagles eat a wide variety of animals and can consume large amounts of prey, their elimination from an ecosystem could have disastrous effects across the entire food web. Bald eagles have faced a number of threats to their survival, including poisoning, electrocution, and poaching. However, DDT and habitat destruction have traditionally been the most damaging factors to bald eagle populations. DDT is an insecticide that affects bald eagle populations through the principle of bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation occurs when an animal higher up the food pyramid consumes a large number of animals with small percentages of contamination that ultimately add up to negatively affect the predator. The major danger DDT poses to the bald eagles is by reducing reproductive viability. As the human population grows, more land is cleared for settlement, reducing bald eagle habitats. The development of waterfront properties can specifically threaten bald eagle populations as this is a popular area for human development, yet also the location of the bald eagle niche. A niche is the microhabitat that an organism occupies within its ecosystem. For eagles, these are the tallest trees in the forests around the water and their surrounding hunting grounds. As these lands are cleared, the potential areas for nesting and viable feeding grounds decrease, reducing the maximum sustainable population of eagles in New Jersey. Conservation efforts were possible thanks to two major changes. In 1972, the use of DDT was banned in the U.S. and eagles were added to the Endangered Species List under the Endangered Species Act. Eagles were further protected with legislation such as the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act and Migratory Bird Treaty Act, which both prohibited anyone without a permit from hunting or capturing bald eagles. Legislative moves such as these both raised awareness and countered the chemical and niche encroachment threats. However, even with these major policy changes, in 1982, only one nest remained in New Jersey. After the nest had failed to produce offspring for six consecutive years, conservation efforts turned to artificial incubation and human-fostered chicks until 1989, when the eagles were healthy enough to finally be able to hatch their own eggs. However, the population density of eagles was still too low, and thus eagles were brought in from Canada to supplement the population. Due to these combined efforts, by 2008, there were 69 active eagle pairs, and the species is no longer endangered. Although human influence, including DDT poisoning and habitat destruction, has led to the decline and near elimination in, of bald eagles in New Jersey, active intervention through the ban of DDT, population management with artificial incubation and imported Canadian bald eagles, and protective legislation have provided a nurturing environment that has resulted in this conservation success story.